object for you. Yes, it's crochet and I'm loving it so much. I had this idea, I don't know how or where it came about, probably with all of the different searching I've been doing about crochet in May for 2021. I thought, ooh, I want a granny collar. And I had just finished doing a sweater with granny squares and also one for my puppy Lulu, who of course is right here sleeping. She's very sleepy. She's wearing her granny square sweater. Actually, I can talk about that here because I haven't talked about it on YouTube, but this is a version of my crochet sweater. It's actually coming apart. See that string? <laughs> I didn't do a, the best job finishing it, but you can see she has all of her little granny squares here and she looks so cute. And look at her little collar. Lulu, show your collar. See this collar imitates the collar on my sweater. So I will link to the video about my sweater underneath this video. I wasn't finished with my granny squares, so I made more. I kept making more, I kept going. I wanted more grannies in my life because they're so fun to make. I was using these gorgeous wools from Schweitzer Farms, and these colors I used in my last unicorn sweater. I used them in my Camp Happy Heart Kirby Wurby doll, and they just, look, I still have more, and I love them so much. So. These were players in my granny squares. Oh, here's one more. As well as these minis that I purchased at a fiber expo from this craft or that. So I had these in play as well. So all of these were pairing up with this black yarn to make more and more grannies. When I decided I wanted to make the collar, I was trying to figure out the construction and I was a little stuck. So I started doing some research and I found this great video from Katie Jones Knits and I will link to it underneath this video. She is the designer behind my blooming bomber jacket that I wear a lot. It's a crochet jacket, even though her name is Katie Jones Knits or Katie Jones Knit, she has a lot of crochet out there and most of it is free. So on this tutorial, she has a special granny square that she does that kind of resembles a flower and flower actually might be in the name of the pattern itself. I can't recall, but I had just done traditional grannies. And the other thing I had done were half granny squares. So they were these triangles, but she has a different triangle here. So you can see this is like a three point granny triangle. And that is what I used her video for just to sort of look at that construction, figure it out. And the best part of her tutorial was this awesome fringy edge. So this reminds me of pom-poms that you can purchase. You can get pom-pom trim in the shop and like fabric stores and things. And they look like this treatment with a little triangle. And it's always a dilemma, like where do I sew in my pom-poms? Do I want the triangle to show or do I want just the pom-pom to show? But in this case, we're all out showing the pom-pom trim. Mm. The video was super easy. Keep in mind that she is using UK terms, not US terms. So you just have to sort of look at what she's doing and she might call it one thing, but it's actually something else. So don't get confused by that. It was very simple for me to pick up on it. I watched her do it twice, I think, and then I was off to the races and just made all my pom-pom trim along the whole thing. So it's four squares and three triangles. I guess you could wear it like this too if you want. And the triangles serve a great purpose because it helps the collar take the shape you want it to around your neck and your shoulder area up to the front. I paid no attention to gauge, so I don't know what hook size she was using. I don't know what size yarn she was using. I didn't even pay attention to that in the video, so hopefully it worked out. I think it could be more exaggerated and it even could be smaller. I think the sky is really the limit. This fits me nicely. I have very narrow shoulders and I'm loving it. I put together a styling video to go up on IGTV of all the different ways that I'm wearing it. Today I have paired with a white blouse that has some black ribbon, which ties in the granny really, really well. And you'll see on the styling video that I think you should of course pair it with pops of color that are reminiscent of the granny collar itself. I would say the only thing you should not wear this with, depending on the color of your pom-pom, is the same color as your pom-pom because I think this pom-pom detail is so lovely. And if you're wearing a black shirt, you won't be able to see it. So I think white is super high contrast and incredible. And then any pop of color that you can find within your granny squares should be what you wear with it. It would be really fun to experiment with white as this background and the pom-pom trim or a color, or maybe it's all the same color. There's just so many different possibilities that you can put together when doing granny squares. It's 
really quite fun, great stash busting. Thank you so much as always for joining me here on Christy Glass Knits and Crochets. I have enjoyed talking about crochet so much and it's really reignited my love for it and I have plans to continue crocheting on into 2021. I think that the art of crochet is so flexible and you can make so many different things that knitting you can't make. So here is just one of them. I'm glad you stopped by here today to check it out and I will see you next time here on Christy Glass Knits. Thank you.